Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over another stutter fix for Microsoft Flight Sim. This one is going to pertain to the NVIDIA shader cache. Now it's not as simple as turning it off. Don't worry, we're going to go through every step coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. So what is NVIDIA shader cache? and why could it cause stutters inside a Microsoft Flight Simulator? Well, first we have to think of the shader cache file similar to the rolling cache file that we have inside of Microsoft Flight Sim. This is gonna automatically cache different files, in this case, shader files, for different applications or simulators. So this way, when you load into that sim or game, it should load faster without any stutters. Well, here's the problem with this. Every time there's an update to Microsoft Flight Simulator, the first thing that everybody should do is go in and delete your rolling cache. And everybody knows that when you do that, this will eliminate a lot of little micro stutters that you get inside the sim. This also applies for the shader cache files for Microsoft Flight Sim. These don't get deleted every time there's an update. We need to manually go in and delete these shader cache files so that we can eliminate any corrupt files. Now, once we get done doing that, we also need to change our main global shader cache file size. We'll go over that here in just a second because I've dug a lot into this and I couldn't find hardly anything on the shader cache. The first thing that we're gonna do is go through and delete all the different cache files for the NVIDIA driver. That's gonna include the shader cache as well as the OpenGL and the DX cache. Lastly, I will show you the information that I found on NVIDIA's website about the shader cache and what the optimal size should be. One added bonus I will add at the end is if you decide that you wanna turn the shader cache off for Microsoft Flight Simulator, then I will go into how to do that using the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. If you have any comments or questions along the way, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The first two cache files we're gonna delete today are the OpenGL and the DX cache files. We're gonna open Windows Explorer, highlight your C drive. We're gonna go down to Users, select your username. We're then gonna come up to App Data, click on Local, and then we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find NVIDIA. Double click that. Here are the two folders that contain the cache files that we need to delete. Do not delete these two folders. We're gonna delete the files inside of the folders. So we're going to double click on the first one on the DX cache, select, hold down shift, select, and then we're gonna hit delete. If you get an error message like this, that is perfectly okay. That just means that the cache file is currently in use. So all you need to do is either hit try again. If it's still unable to delete, then we can just skip that file. And you will do that for all the remaining files that are currently being used. Once we're done, we can back out of that. So we can click on the NVIDIA, go down to the GL cache, double click there, double click on the folder, and then we're gonna highlight everything in this folder and hit delete. Again, we'll hit the try again. Whatever we're not able to delete because it's in use, we can just hit skip. Once we're done with that, we can backtrack one more time. If you have another folder in here, you wanna click on that folder and delete any of the files inside of that. Go back to the GL cache. If there was another folder in here, we would wanna open that folder. So now that we have deleted all the files inside of each of these folders, we can now go ahead and delete the NVIDIA shader cache file. This is gonna be a little bit different than we just did here. So to get there, we're just gonna highlight our local C disk drive, right click, down the properties, that should open up this menu here. We're now gonna go down and click disk cleanup. It should open another window, and if we scroll down, you can see DirectX shader cache. We're gonna tick the checkbox, and if you wanna check anything else in here while you're at it, you can go ahead and do that, and go down and hit okay. This will delete those shader cache files for us. Once that's done, we can hit okay, and we are now done with deleting all the different shader cache files for the NVIDIA driver. 
All right, so now let's take a look at the information I found on NVIDIA's website. Now, I know this says it's for the Omniverse, but this is the only information I could find. Surely there's other forums and groups that are out there that'll give you opinions and ideas, but it doesn't exactly tell you what it is. So we're going to take what is here and kind of manipulate the wording a little bit for Microsoft Flight Sim. With that in mind, let's take a look at the recommended driver cache size. They recommend for Windows users to increase the shader cache size on their computers to 10 gigabyte. The reasoning for this is that each Omniverse app, this could also go for any game or simulator, requires different shaders and therefore each app version can take up to 250 megabytes of space for each cache. Keep in mind, other games or simulators can take up way more than 250 megabytes of space, so it's very easy for users to hit the default shader cache limit, which is one gigabyte. Once a user hits the size limit, they could experience slow startups, performance issues, and stuttering. So now with this information in the back of your head, let's jump over to the NVIDIA control panel and take a look at the shader cache options. To adjust the shader cache in the NVIDIA control panel, you want to make sure that you're on Manage 3D Settings, in the Global Settings tab, and scroll all the way down to Shader Cache Size. Now here is set for driver default, which is the one gigabyte that is stated in the NVIDIA article. We're going to tick on the drop down and select 10 gigabyte. Once you have done that, we can hit apply and all of the settings should take effect. Restart your computer and let me know your results down below in the comments. So for the people that are sticking around and want to know how to turn the shader cache off, for Microsoft Flight Simulator alone, then let's get into that real quick. Now you don't want to disable the shader cache inside of the global settings because your other games, sims, and applications really need this to help with any stutters and it really improves performance. So if you're going to turn it off, I recommend only doing it for Microsoft Flight Simulator alone. But unfortunately, in the Programs tab, we do not have the option to adjust our shader cache individually. So to do this, we're gonna use a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. The links for this application will be down in the description, so be sure to check that out if you'd like to pick it up. In the top left of the application, here's where we can select a specific profile, and we're gonna type in Microsoft Flight Sim. Go down and select it. So this will allow us to change specific settings for this application. Now I'm going to highly stress, do not change anything in here if you do not know what you're doing. So only change the setting that I'm going to show you today. Once you have selected the application, and in our case, it's going to be Microsoft Flight Simulator, we can then scroll all the way down. We're going to go to the comments section. Here under rebar, you can see shader cache cache size. Here is where we can manually turn off the cache size for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So to do this, we're gonna tick on the drop down, and then you just select off. Once you're done with that, make sure that you go up in the top right, hit apply and save, and you're all set to go. If you would like to revert to the factory settings, all you need to do next to the shader cache is to hit this little restore button. You will now see that our global settings have been applied here. If you try this method, let me know which worked best for you. Leave a comment down below, and if the video helped you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button to all my Flight Simmer friends around the world. Keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.